Did you know that the pangolin, often referred to as the scaly anteater, is the only mammal in the world to be covered from head to tail in scales? That's right, our friend the pangolin is a true one of a kind, a living testament to nature's endless creativity and resourcefulness. Now, when you think of scales, you might picture a fish or a reptile, but the pangolin is neither, it's a mammal just like us. But unlike us, it boasts a suit of armor made entirely of scales. These scales made of keratin, the same substance that forms human hair and nails, create a protective shield that covers the pangolin's body. These scales are not just decorative. When threatened, a pangolin can roll itself up into a tight ball, presenting its armor to any would-be predators. This is no easy meal. The scales are sharp, and any predator foolhardy enough to try and bite or claw its way through will soon find itself dealing with a mouthful of cuts. But the pangolin isn't just about defense. It has a unique diet that sets it apart from other mammals. This little creature is a specialist in ant and termite cuisine. Using its long, sticky tongue that can be longer than its body when fully extended, the pangolin can reach into deep termite mounds or ant hills to extract its meals. But it's not just the pangolin's diet that's unique. It's also its foraging behavior. The pangolin is a solitary creature, hunting alone under the cover of night. It uses its keen sense of smell to locate termite mounds and anthills, and its powerful claws to break them open. So, the next time you find yourself marveling at the wonders of the natural world, spare a thought for the pangolin. This remarkable creature, with its armor of scales and its unusual diet, is a testament to the incredible diversity of life on Earth. The pangolin's remarkable scales are not just for show. They serve as a formidable defense mechanism against predators. Pangolins are solitary creatures that inhabit the tropical regions of Africa and Asia. These scaled protectors have made homes in a variety of landscapes, from thick forests and open savannas to the harsh, sandy terrain of the desert. Let's start in the lush green forests. Here, pangolins are adept climbers using their strong, curved claws to grip onto bark and their prehensile tails for balance. They forage for their favorite meal, ants and termites, using their long, sticky tongues to reach into crevices in tree trunks and anthills. Their armor-like scales protect them from the bites of these tiny but feisty creatures. In the open savannas, pangolins are more terrestrial. Their keen sense of smell helps them locate insect colonies underground. They then use their powerful claws to dig into the soil, unearthing a feast of ants and termites. The pangolin's unique ability to roll into a nearly impenetrable ball is an especially handy defense mechanism in these open environments, fending off predators like lions and hyenas. Even in the arid deserts, pangolins have found a way to survive. They dwell in burrows during the day to escape the intense heat and come out at night to feed, demonstrating their adaptability in the face of extreme conditions. But it's not just the pangolin's physical adaptations that are influenced by their environment. Their behavior too is shaped by the world around them. For instance, pangolins in colder regions are known to hibernate during winter, a behavior not observed in their tropical counterparts. Despite these diverse habitats, there's one common thread that ties all pangolins together. They play a crucial role in their ecosystems by controlling insect populations, particularly ants and termites. This not only keeps the soil fertile, but also helps maintain the balance of nature. In essence, the pangolin's habitat is more than just a home, it's a dynamic environment that shapes their physical traits, influences their behavior, and underscores their role in the ecosystem. These creatures depend heavily on their environment for survival, showcasing a beautiful yet delicate balance of nature. Despite their fascinating nature, pangolins are under severe threat. Just like our very own mini-dinosaurs, these scaled protectors of the wild face a battle, not against a meteor or an ice age, but against a much more complex predator, human greed. Let's delve into the dark side of their existence. Pangolins, you see, are among the most trafficked animals in the world. Their unique scale armor, which serves as their primary defense mechanism in the wild, ironically has become their Achilles heel in the face of human exploitation. These scales, made up of keratin, the same material that forms our hair and nails, are highly sought after in certain cultures for their supposed medicinal properties, despite no scientific evidence supporting such claims. But it's not just the scales. Pangolin meat, considered a delicacy in some regions, has further fueled the demand, leading to an alarming decrease in their population. Imagine these shy, harmless creatures, hunted down not for survival, 
but for a bowl of soup or a bottle of potion. This relentless pursuit for pangolin products has pushed all eight species towards the brink of extinction. From the forests of Africa to the jungles of Asia, pangolins are disappearing at an alarming rate, creating a void in our ecosystems that could have unforeseen consequences. It's a grim tale, isn't it? But it's one that needs to be told. For the plight of the pangolin is a stark reflection of the dark side of human greed. It's a reminder that our thirst for the exotic, the rare, the unique, often comes at a high price. The price of a life, a species, a balanced ecosystem. The pangolin's struggle for survival is a grim reminder of the dark side of human greed. As we peel back the layers of this tragic tale, remember, it's not just about the pangolins. It's about us, our choices, our future. It's about understanding the delicate balance of nature and our role in preserving it. So let's turn the page and see what we can do to rewrite the fate of these incredible creatures. While the situation may seem dire, hope is not lost for the pangolin. Across the globe, a dedicated network of conservationists, scientists, and passionate individuals are rallying to turn the tide for these unique creatures. They're engaged in a variety of strategies, each one crucial in its own way to ensure the survival of the pangolin. Firstly, there are the direct on-the-ground efforts. These include initiatives like habitat restoration, where damaged or lost pangolin territories are rejuvenated and protected. These sanctuaries offer a safe haven for pangolins where they can live, breed and thrive without the constant threat of poaching. Then we have the rescue and rehabilitation centers. Here, trafficked pangolins are nursed back to health and when possible reintroduced back into the wild. It's a painstaking process, often requiring round-the-clock care and a deep understanding of the pangolin's unique biology. And let's not forget the essential work of research. Scientists are tirelessly gathering data, studying pangolin behavior, diet, and ecology. This knowledge is crucial for their conservation, helping us understand how to best protect and preserve these creatures. Of course, none of this would be possible without the crucial role of legislation and enforcement. Stricter laws against wildlife trafficking coupled with diligent enforcement are vital to curb the illegal trade in pangolin parts. Several countries have already stepped up their game, imposing hefty fines and sentences for those caught in the act. Education is another powerful tool in this fight. By raising awareness about the plight of the pangolin, we can inspire more people to join the cause. Every voice counts, every action matters, from reducing demand for pangolin products to supporting conservation projects. Lastly, there are numerous success stories to celebrate. From the rescue of trafficked pangolins to the successful breeding of these creatures in captivity, Every victory, big or small, is a step towards a brighter future for the pangolin. The fight is far from over, but with continued efforts, we can ensure a future for these unique creatures. Saving the pangolin is not a battle for conservationists alone. The plight of the pangolin is a global issue that requires a collective effort. Each and every one of us has a part to play in their survival. One of the most potent ways we can contribute is by making informed choices. The illegal trade in pangolin scales and meat is driven by demand, much of it based on misconceptions. Pangolin scales, for instance, are often used in traditional medicine, even though science has proven they have no medicinal value. They are made of keratin, the same material as our hair and nails. So, one of the most significant actions we can take is to refrain from buying products made from pangolins. By doing so, we can help reduce demand and strike a blow against the illegal trade. But our role doesn't stop there. We can also help by spreading awareness. The more people know about the pangolin's predicament, the greater the chances of their survival. Talk to your friends, share on social media, and let the world know about these fascinating creatures and the threats they face. In addition, supporting conservation organizations is a great way to contribute. These groups are on the front lines rescuing pangolins from traffickers, rehabilitating them, and reintroducing them into the wild. They also work to protect pangolin habitats and conduct vital research. By donating to these organizations, you're providing them with the resources they need to continue their invaluable work. And lastly, let's not forget about the role of responsible tourism. When traveling, choose eco-friendly options that respect wildlife and their habitats. Avoid any activities that exploit or harm animals, and always follow guidelines when visiting protected areas. Every action counts. Together, we can make a difference for the pangolin. So let's harness our collective power and turn the tide for these scaled protectors of the wild. Let's give them the chance to thrive, not just survive. 
After all, a world with pangolins is a far more fascinating place. Don't you agree? <laughs>